investigators say Richard Allen has confessed multiple times that he killed Abby Williams and Libby German in February of 2017. Yeah, McLeland says Richard Allen has admitted five or six times to killing the girls on the Monin High Bridge almost six years ago. Allen's defense attorneys argued the client has made what they referred to as incriminating statements while in prison, but those statements can't be taken seriously due to Allen's declining mental state. Since the arrest of Richard Allen in October 2022, both the prosecution and the defense have acknowledged that Richard Allen has confessed five or six times to killing Liberty German and Abigail Williams back in February of 2017. Some of the people that Richard confessed to were medical professionals working for the Indiana Department of Corrections, mental health professionals also working for the Indiana Department of Corrections, and most notably, Richard Allen, while on a recorded phone call with his wife earlier this year, made very incriminating statements admitting to his involvement in the murders of Libby and Abby. When Richard Allen's defense team were made aware of these damning statements, they had to come up with a strategy, and this is what they did. They put out this picture looking to get sympathy, and they're going to start using the excuse that his mental well-being and mental health have gone down the drain. This statement was briefly put up and then taken down, but I was able to snapshot it before it was taken down. It says, attorney state he is being treated less favorably than a convicted person, appears to be suffering from psychotic symptoms described as schizophrenic and delusional. Remember, this statement was made shortly after the defense discovered all of the damning evidence against Richard Allen. So that's where we're at now. Richard Allen has confessed five or six times to the murders of Libby and Abby. Now, these murders were committed five to six years ago, and he barely got arrested in October of 2022. So what took so long for Richard Allen to get arrested? I will explain. Also new tonight, I Team 8 is told investigators believe that Richard Allen is the man on the bridge seen in the cell phone video. Allen also went to police shortly after the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. I Team 8's Richard Essex is working this story for us tonight. Our sources tell us that Richard Allen had gone to a state conservation officer shortly after the murders. He told the officer that he'd been in the area that day, had even been out on the bridge, but he told the officer that he didn't see anything. Sources tell I Team 8 Allen didn't get much attention when he first went to police because investigators may not have believed his story. After five years and countless interviews, investigators had become frustrated with the path of the investigation in order to review of tips and case files, and that is when Allen became a suspect. Now, this term, unfounded, used in this context basically means that there's no reason to suggest that Richard Allen was associated with this crime. Now let's look at the timeline of events that happened early on in this investigation. So February 13th, 2017, that's when Libby and Abby were killed. Their bodies were found the next day on February 14th, 2017, around noon. Now Richard Allen went to Wallman's Grocery Store on February 14th and spoke to a conservation officer to give a statement. Now keep in mind, this was before the picture of Bridge Guy was ever made public. So the conservation officer doesn't ask Richard Allen how he was dressed. So when the conservation officer met with Richard Allen that day at the grocery store, this is how the narrative went. Mr. Allen was on the trail between 1.30 and 3.30 p.m. He parked at the old Farm Bureau building and walked to the new Freedom Bridge. While at the Freedom Bridge, he saw three females. He noted one was taller and had brown or black hair. He did not remember the description, nor did he speak with them. He walked from the Freedom Bridge to the High Bridge. He did not see anybody although he stated he was watching a stock ticker on his phone as he walked. He stated there were vehicles parked at the High Bridge Trailhead. However, he did not pay attention to them. He did not take any photos or video. I think it's important to point out here that it says potential follow-up information, and it says, who were the three girls walking in the area of the Freedom Bridge? This shows that the conservation officer was in fact only looking for witnesses and Richard Allen was considered a witness early on. So Richard Allen met with the conservation officer on February 14th, and he was considered a witness, someone who was there that day, but didn't see anything significant. He was basically considered a David Riley type of person. I uh, think about it a lot. David Riley replays this day last year quite often. I was on the trail the day that they were killed. And did you see anything? No. No, I talked to the police twice and gave them DNA and all that stuff. But, yeah, I was at the other end of the trail. They were by the, 
the bridge, the high bridge. I was by the uh, uh, the blue bridge, the Freedom Bridge. The conversation between Richard Allen and the conservation officer took place on February 14th, 2017, late in the afternoon. Then later on that day, Richard Allen goes to play pool with one of his friends. We'll call him D.H., and he lets him know that he spoke to law enforcement earlier in that day. February 15th, 2017. Sergeant Riley does a press conference announcing that they're looking to talk to people who were at the trails that day. We were asking for anyone to come forward who has information that were either on the Delphi Historic Trail yet there on Monday, especially if they were near the Monon High Bridge, that they might have been seen, seeing somebody out there. They may have taken pictures where somebody might be in that photograph. If they were out there doing that kind of stuff, we need that information. Uh, we would love to have pictures of that. Also on February 15th at 7 p.m., this is when the Bridge Guy photo is released to the public. And welcome back to the News at 11 here on RTV6. We are live in Delphi, Indiana, and we want to give you a shot of that picture once again from police. This is a man they are looking for right now. They say he was out on the trails here on Monday around the same time that two teens, Abby Williams, age 13, and Libby German, age 14, were killed out here. They would like to talk to him more about that crime. We made it easy for you to share that right now on our social media streams. Much more on Good Morning Indiana with that as well. And if Later that night on February 15th, Richard Allen's friend, D.H., posted on a Facebook thread that revealed the picture of Bridge Guy, and he stated, in regards to the photo of the man on the bridge, he went to the police. They've released him, and he is not a suspect. He was, of course, referring to Richard Allen, the person he spoke to the night before, who let him know that he did do an interview with the conservation officer, went forward to the police. On February 16th, 2017, this was when the first known search warrant was executed. Now, this comes a day after the photo of Bridge Guy was released, meaning they were obviously going after guys who dressed like Bridge Guy. He said hi, and he just, like, brushed him off and kept going. Did they think he was strange, out of place, or...? They said he was, but then again, it could just be a rumor. They described him dressed in black. Meanwhile, police continued the search for this man. He would have been on the trail the same time as the girls. They say they want to talk to him about what he saw. And last night's search of a Delphi house will not lead to an arrest in this case, police say. Jim Maxwell was rumored to have been dressed like Bridge Guy the day of February 13th, 2017. Now keep in mind, Richard Allen talked to law enforcement before the Bridge Guy picture was released, and they didn't know what he was wearing. That's why when he talked to the conservation officer, there was no mention of how Richard Allen was dressed that day. No one knew about Bridge Guy. On February 17th, 2017, WRTV updated their article that first revealed the photo of the bridge guy. This time they added, Indiana State Police said there have been a few rumors on Facebook that they have found the man and spoken to him, but officers said this is not true. I find this interesting because it shows early on in the investigation, law enforcement was confused. Police say tip lines that have been operating have received hundreds of telephone calls. Uh, we're getting subjects that we're looking at to, to, to talk to, and we're finding those people are not the person of interest that we're looking for or, the, or that person in the picture. And so that, that, that is helping eliminate people, and that's, that's, that's part of the investigation is to, to try to narrow it down to one or two people that we're looking at. And so, that, right now, we haven't got that far yet. So also, on February 17, 2017, Law enforcement was made aware by a witness that they saw a man walking down West 300, was muddy and bloody, and they looked like they were just in a fight. Now, police aren't saying how they got this photo or why the man in this picture is a suspect, but we'll go ahead and bring up those pictures for you right now. These two grainy photos with a man dressed in jeans and a blue jacket are all police have to go on. They don't have a name or any information on this man. Police want people to realize that they are not just looking here in Delphi. We are actually expanding out. We want people that they may have seen somebody walking, that may have pick, pick, picked up a hitchhiker, that may have that have seen a hitchhiker around that afternoon of, of uh, Monday the 13th. You know, we, when when I say we want tips, you know, this person could have could have hitchhiked in if somebody picked up a hitchhiker that day, if somebody saw somebody walking on the roadway. I we we're not just focusing on what people saw on the trail. And if they saw something, maybe it was on the road to Lafayette or Logansport. Police are widening the geographic search. So there's a lot going on here. So let's do a quick recap. 
So back on February 14th, after that conservation officer interviewed Richard Allen, it's safe to assume that he just put his name into a group of witnesses because that's what the conservation officer was tasked to do that day, to go talk to witnesses, not to go talk to suspects. They wanted to talk to anyone who might have saw something strange, someone out of place, and also they wanted to talk to anyone who might have taken pictures out there, hoping to get some clues. Also, Richard Allen met with the conservation officer before the bridge guy picture was released. He likely wasn't even aware that Libby took any video of him. Two photos of bridge guy, Richard Allen, were released the day after Richard Allen came forward. Richard Allen's friend posted that they already talked to the man in the photo, knowing that his friend Richard already talked to law enforcement. And to me, this shows that Richard Allen admitted to his friend that he was bridge guy. Now let's talk about the reason why there are two different sketches of Richard Allen. Also, over the course of the Delphi investigation, there were two primary sketches of a man police were looking for. They don't look alike. The sketch of the man with the hat came out during the start of the investigation in 2017, and two years later, a sketch of a man with curly hair was released. So I had this question. Two years into the investigation, um, after we got the initial sketch, um, we were told to not uh, rely on that sketch anymore, that this was a new sketch that came out mm -hmm. that looked completely different than the mm -hmm. original. But when we see the mugshot of uh, Richard Allen, he looks mostly like that initial um, sketch. So why, why the change two years mm -hmm. into someone that didn't look yeah. anything like the person that we were presented with on Monday? Well, I'll answer the question in two parts. One, isn't that amazing that he looks a lot like one and a little bit like the other, depending upon the eye of the beholder, right? Um, and I've said all along those sketches are not phot photographs. There are reasons that we stru structurally and or not structurally, but logistically changed uh, the investigative strategy throughout the middle of this in, in multiple phases. Some were not even recognized, nor did they have to be. But those detectives are going to base what they're going to do ba on based upon what they know. And what they know comes from the people that live in that community and around the world, literally around the world. So I, I think that was the absolute right decision at the time to do what they did. I've always said that the, that the, the two sketches are simply sketches, they're not photographs. It's a piece of an investigative puzzle. And when we're all done with this, we're gonna be able to build the two of them together. And we're, gonna, we're going to find an individual. That's what happened. On October 13th, 2022, Richard Allen was interviewed by investigators. He advised he was on the trails on February 13th, 2017. He stated he saw juvenile girls on the trails east of Freedom Bridge, and that he went onto the Monon High Bridge. Richard Allen further stated he went out onto the Monon High Bridge to watch the fish. Later in his statement, he said he walked out to the first platform on the bridge. He stated he then walked back, sat on a bench on the trail, and then left. He stated he parked his car on the side of an old building. He told investigators that he was wearing blue jeans and a blue or black Carhartt jacket with a hood. He advised he may have been wearing some type of head covering as well. He further claimed he saw no one else except for the juvenile girls he saw east of the Freedom Bridge. I find it interesting how this time he doesn't make any mention of being on a phone. I assume it's because he had his phone turned off and they would be able to tell that he wasn't on a stock ticker like he said on February 14th to the conservation officer. Also, this time he mentions that he went out on the bridge to look at fish. So in conclusion, Richard Allen incriminated himself on October 13th, 2022. And then five or six more times, he admitted to killing Libby and Abby. So it's pretty safe to assume that Richard Allen did kill Liberty German and Abigail Williams on February 13th, 2017. Who is my source? Richard Allen. Thanks for watching and may justice be served.